Master, are you awake? Oh, thank the heavens. I was so scared after you took that tumble. There was blood everywhere. I thought you were a goner. Where are you? You're in your bed, Master. Oh no, are you having issues with your eyesight? Master, how many fingers am I holding up? Yes, that's right. Your eyesight doesn't seem to be affected after all. What a relief. Hmm? Of course I'm sure this is your bed, Master. Only you are allowed a bed so lavish. I would not even dare to think of bringing you to a bed that wasn't your own. Are the pillows all right? Would you like me to fluff them for you? You don't remember this being your bed? May I ask what you mean, Master? There is no other bed for you to remember. You don't remember anything? Master, are you saying you have amnesia? Oh dear. Does that mean you don't even remember me? Ah, I see. Not even a single memory? Actually, Master, this maid would like to ask you to not answer that. I'm afraid the pain would be too much. But I can assure you, this is your bedroom and I'm your maid. What do you mean, Master? How does that not sound right? I can assure you that this is the one and only truth. How else could you be sleeping in this bed, and why else would I be calling you Master? Perhaps the medicine or the shock of the injury is clouding your judgement. I will give you some peace and quiet so that you may get a hold of yourself. Please try and rest while I am gone, Master. You're awake sooner than I thought, Master. How long have I been standing over you? A while. You told me you liked me watching you sleep. You said it made you feel safe, remember? Oh, wait. You don't. Oh well. I'll just have to make sure to remind you of all the little quirks in our relationship. For starters, I would help you wash every morning. We missed yesterday due to your injuries, so we can't stall for today. Let me help you out of bed, Master, and into the bathroom. There's no need to be shy, Master. Even if you don't remember this, I would do this for you every day, like I said. I'm just doing my duties. This doesn't feel right again. Master, forgive me for being frank, but how can you tell what is right and what is wrong when you don't even know anything? It is just better to listen to me and we can get to living our lives how they should be. Now, come on, before the water gets cold. I've prepared it with all your favourite scents and soaps, and I even bought a new washcloth. It's all perfect, ready and waiting. Do you need help getting undressed, Master? I'm more than happy to assist you if you don't feel up to it. Very well. Why should I need to turn around? I'm going to be washing you after all. <sighs> Very well, Master. I will turn around. What is this futile resistance about, Master? It's merely a wash. Don't you want me to take care of you? I want to take care of you. Stop with all of this stupidity and stay still. You have no choice. Master? Master, are you alright? Are you awake? Let me check your injury. You might have aggravated it. He doesn't like any of the stitching has come undone. That's a relief. Master, what happened? Why did you take a fall like that? A headache? It seems like your injury is more severe than I thought to make you fall down like that. Shall I take you back to bed? 
Master, no need for such a drastic rejection. It's all right. You just startled me, that's all. Was there an issue with your bed? Or was the room not to your satisfaction? Oh, you just want to take a walk? I suppose I do say fresh air is good for people in recovery. Very well. Let's go for a walk, shall we? Of course I must accompany you. How can I leave you to take a walk all by yourself, Master? Especially in your injured state. Another maid? Master, I am your only maid. Sorry, I suppose I should rephrase that since you don't remember. I am the only person working in this mansion. We are the only two people who reside here. Master? You and I are the only two people who will live here. This is how it should be, Master. We don't need anyone else coming between us. You need to stop rejecting me like this. I am the only one you need. Master, you're so pale. I really think we should get you back to your quarters. You're so insistent about this walk. Very well. I will not dismiss this request since you seem to want it so much. Please make sure you lean on me for support at least, Master. Master, I insist. You are in no state to walk around. <sighs> if you're going to be so stubborn about this, fine. But I will be standing close in case you take another fall. What is that face for, Master? The walls? They have always been there. This is private property. You didn't want anyone disturbing us, Master. The walls are so no one disturbs us, Master. I'm sure you too will one day appreciate them. The walls are here to stay. You only think the garden will be prettier with the walls taken down because you don't have your memories. Let's just continue our walk and forget about them. I recently planted more of your favourite flowers, and some other ones I thought you might enjoy. Of course, if you don't like them, I can not root them immediately and replace them with something else. Shall we go see them, Master? Here they are. Well... Are they to your satisfaction, Master? That face again. Hmm? Oh, you just thought the face you make when you don't appreciate my efforts. Am I doing something wrong? Am I not pampering you enough? I made sure you have the nicest bed, the best soap, plant your favourite flowers. And yet you still act like I'm doing something wrong, Master. Why? Why is nothing I do ever enough? Don't you like the flowers? I planted them especially for you. See? I really am doing all of this to make you happy. You just need to open yourself up to me, Master. You are my Master. I am your maid and you are my Master. Isn't this your fantasy? To have a cute girl serve you? I've seen your browser history. Who cares if I kidnapped you? I didn't lock you up in a basement. I'm not forcing you to starve and serve me. I'm the one serving you. What do you possibly have to complain about? Your friends, your family, your pathetic girlfriend. You just can't let them go, can you? If you really can't get them out of your mind, I'll just make you forget all about them. Master, do you have anything to say for yourself? That look. You remember, don't you? There's nowhere to run. Stop thrashing. Stop thrashing! You are the most ungrateful person I've met. No matter. 
I'll just have to hit you harder this time to make sure I knock those pesky little memories out of you once and for all. Or maybe I should just use some medicine to cure you instead. Just stay still, master, and I'll take care of everything. <laughs>